Hello my friend, this is Angela. I'm here to use um, May Larson created these um, these um, let's see, I have one here. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Um, four. I think you get four, and they are four inches. And then with a tab is three and three quarters. So it's very sturdy. Um, and I'm doing this. She made these for me for me to give them a try. And I am going just to use this Martha Stewart paint. Um, it's... Uh, uh, vintage decor paint that I bought in um, in Michaels or you can find it anyway it's called beetle black and it's like a chalkboard or paint what I'm gonna do because it's this is gonna be a Halloween card I am going to paint the edges Paint the edges. If you want to paint the whole thing, it's up to you. I'm going to just paint the edges because I'm going to cover it with paper. All I want. Make sure you take the... You can do this also with... Um, with... Um, what do you call it? Um, with ink. Ink. You can use the ink. I think the ink will be easy, but I like this paint, so I decided to make this one with paint. I'm going to be using the, the, oh God, I'm going to be using her October kit. Um. She has a Facebook group created a scrap design that if you want to buy her kits, you should belong to the group. And I will put a link in there uh, how I, I'm going a little more than I usually will do, but you know what, um, it's okay. Because the theme of her October, of course, it's um, just make sure you take all the edges. I want to make sure I'm in frame. Okay. Um, and this is going to be uh, the memory decks card. Um, I don't know. I want your feedback. I want your feedback of, of what you think about these. If you will be willing to buy these, these you can use for special projects. But um, I can put a kit together if you want. She can put a kit together. I don't know whichever way she wants to do it. Um, um, if you're willing to okay so that's it I'm gonna let it dry and I will close my paint And I will put this in water. I have 
have a little gl a glass of water. You shouldn't have glass water in here if you're messy as I am. While that one dries, I'm going to use from her, um, I'm going to move the paint out of the way because I'm not going to need it anymore. I'm going to show one more time. It's called Beetle Black. It comes in the little bottles. I didn't find it in the little bottles. This is $9.99. But you can use your coupon. I had a 50%. I pay $5 plus my 10% um, senior discount. And, uh, it's the only reason why I'm proud of being a, disc a senior. Uh, it's because, um, you know, I get a discount in my goals. So this is a pilot one, a trial one that she did for me to see how I can work with them. If I think you guys might like it, so she can have them in the store. And I what I will do is, uh, I know this paper is dark. Uh, I usually, what I like to do is glue it and then use my X-Acto knife. And, and cut it. So let's see. But if you like, you can trace it. I'm going to use this pen. This one's just half already though. If you are afraid of cutting uh, the blade, okay, I had a trace there perfectly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my huge Tim Holtz scissors to cut a piece of this paper. And this paper that I'm using, it's called, it's from Pink Paisley Spell Cast. And let me see if it has a name. Hmm. It says spell cast number three. I guess they do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz, the smaller ones, and I'm gonna go ahead and follow this. I hope I'm on frame. I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna leave for last the you know the two little um these the the little holes and this is a uh something I was thinking about giving a trial since I have so many supplies but it's something I don't want to talk about before I talk with me um, So here I am cutting this card, okay? Now it should be dry by now. 
should be dry. It's a little... If I go there... Uh, yeah, I might have to trim it. So I'm going to glue it. And for that, I'm going to use my tacky glue. Make sure you take all the edges. All the edges. Okay. So that way you can put your paper. I'm going to use this side, the black one haven't decided what I'm going to do and this will give you the chance to play with it like I say I might use my there that's perfect I am gonna use my blade to cut the edges because it's much easier. I might need a new blade because this blade, I think it's not it's sharp. Okay. So here, I hope I'm doing this. On, I apologize if you see me a little shaky when I use certain, do certain movements my hands are a little shaky due to my condition and um, okay so i am doing this is perfect. Um, all I have is this edge now here. I'm going to go first like that so I can get rid of that. And let me just take get rid of all these little pieces. And now is, this is the part that might be But it's easy. The way she did these, you just have to go. I will do the sides. I just make sure the blade is resting against the chipboard. And since this chipboard is pretty thick, I make sure, especially in this area here, it's where you probably have a little bit of work, but I will work through it. And then I will take the top. And I'll remove my first. Sorry, I didn't mean to take it off. There it is. You see? And if you feel like you still have some little pieces of paper, you can just go like this. I think it's perfect. Okay, so the same thing with this one. Going there. Here. And here. And then on the top. And I am 
going to remove that. And there you got, you got the front of your car done. Look how easy and look how sturdy this is. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And what I'm going to do is, since this is dry, Since this is dry, I'm going to cut another piece of this paper so I don't have this big paper here. I am going to glue this here. This is going to be hard because it's a dark color, but I am going to do it um, I want to make sure I put in the edges. I kind of put it a, an eighth of an inch from the, because once you squeeze the paper, the glue will go into those areas. And then I will put some in the middle. You can use tacky glue. You, you can use whatever glue you use. I use this one because it's it's oh, it's it's not the greatest one, but I haven't had a trouble with it. So I'm going to try to put this one as close as possible here. And it's going to be hard to see because I'm going to start with this with this piece. And you have to be careful because if you use glue, you don't want this to move and this one moved. Well done. You know this is, I don't edit my videos. So whatever go wrong, you're going to see, you're going to see I'm not perfect. I do my mistake and I learn from them. So that's that. Then I will do this one. Take this out. I still have to do a little more, I think. And if you want to use your scissors too, I think. I think it's easier with your scissors. Yes, it is. This is trial or error. So I'm going to do mine like this. And then, like this, um, this side looks pretty good. Um, this side, let's see. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see because it's the same color of the paper, so. But I know, I know. Okay, so I still have to do this bottom a little more. Okay, so that's, and then Let's see if I can try doing it with the scissors. No, I'd rather do it with this. No. Uh, that's my husband saying that I don't burn the, the dinner. Because I'm making dinner. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't like 
this. Um, There we go. Okay, and this one is also done. I think I forgot to do this. Oops. Okay, so I'll be back.